Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Hukalo Guided Meditation number four with Wendy. Today in the room, we have Alex and Bianca and Douglas and Johannes and Chris and Mary and our beloved Roxy and Valerie and myself, Guru Dan. It is Sunday, September 27th, 2015. And we have a special meditation for the special moon energies, I believe. Wendy, is that what you have going on for us today? Well, I think we're just going to take this beautiful full moon lunar eclipse energy and we'll just see where our, our guides take us today. All right, brilliant. Then I will mute and I will let you have at it. Good day, good morning, good evening wherever you are in the world, um, we are here today in a most extraordinary, extraordinary energy. We are in the midst of the eclipses, all in culmination of all that we have all come here to do, that we've all come here to be, that we've all come here to see and discover about ourselves is really a culmination of today and this energy that's happening today and this new beginning and the ushering in of the age of Aquarius where truly everything will become an air of harmony and understanding and goodness and we remember today that the greatest successes truly do lie in the most difficult of paths and today we release the paths, the paths that we no longer need to look back upon because they serve their purpose. We can now look back and love them, honor them, and thank them for their service and know that we can turn that way anytime we wish, yet we know that ground no longer needs to be retread. And today we also celebrate the understanding, the true understanding of the elevation of our awareness that we truly are connected to all there is, all that we see around us, everything that we've created for us. We are connected, we breathe, we live, we love with the earth, with the air, with the fire, and the water. Everything is energy that we breathe, and we give it, we receive it, we send it back out. The food that we eat, the air that we breathe, we breathe it in, and we give it back. We give it back as energy for another to live and breathe, and for the earth to live and breathe. It is a continuous, constant cycle of energy. In honor of our new moon, excuse me, our full moon lunar eclipse today, it is our harvest moon where the fruits of our labors have come to fruition, where we, we harvest the, the fruit of the seeds that have been sown. And for us, it is a lifetime after lifetime after lifetime of seeds that have been sown and sown for this fruit to be born today. Today in this gorgeous, beautiful energy of our lunar body, as we watch it in darkness, we watch it in light again. And we, re we are renewed again. In honor of our harvest moon, let us thank our air and our earth our water and our fire as we bless the harvest and bring to fruition all that we have come here to become. And in honor of this harvest moon, we bring to you the chant of the ages. In, bond, in binding us together with the air, the moon, the fire, and the water, 
and all that lives and breathes upon it. For we are one. We are one with all the stars. We are one with all the planets. We are one with all. All the galactic families, all of our ancestors, our spirit guides are with us today. Invite them with you today, right now. Breathe in your awareness of their existence, of all that they have brought to you today, and the tools that they have brought to you in your understanding that live within you in everything that you do. Maiden, spin your circle white. Weave a web of shining light. Stag and hawk, bear and wolf, find us as one. Mother, spin your circle red. Weave the web of glowing thread. Earth, air, fire and water, find us as one. Wise one, spin your circle black. Weave the wisdom that we lack. Moonlight, sunlight, starlight, shimmer, find us as one. Lady, spin your circle bright. Weave your web of dark and light. Earth, air, fire and water. Find us as one. Breathe this in. Breathe the understanding that we are bound as one. I invite you to visit the garden. I invite you to visit each flower, each color that corresponds to each chakra, each light, each frequency, it's a part of you. You breathe it in, it breathes you. It gazes at you in the same delight that you gaze upon it. Touch it, speak it, talk to it, love it. Feel its color within you. Walk through the garden. Speak to the trees. Walk up to the tree. Place your hand upon it. And breathe in with me. To the count of three. Two, three, breathe in. Hold the breath and find the place between the breath from where the next breath begins. This is where you find your true center. Breathe in again. One. Breathe in. Breathe in. Hold the breath. And while you're holding it, find the place between the next breath before you Exhale. Remember this place. It is the place of your center. It is the place of the quiet. It will bring you back to your garden, your trees, your center. Feel yourself dissolving into the tree. Stand within it and feel the circles surrounding you. The layers and layers of its ancestors, of all the years it has looked out into the pasture, looked out into the garden, it has watched you while you watch it. You are one now. You are within it. Your feet are its feet. Your feet are its roots. 
Find the tree next to you and feel your roots touch its roots as it touches the next and feel the vision, see the vision of all the roots of every tree of everywhere on the planet as they touch one another under the surface of the planet, of the grass, of the soil, of the rocks and the trees, they spread. They spread nothing to encumber them. They spread and touch one another. You are all connected to each other. You are all connected to every tree, every plant. Rise up through the trunk of the tree, out up into the limbs. Rest upon the branch. You are now in a new perspective. Touch the leaves, feel them, see the veins in them. They are the same as the veins within your hand. They breathe like you breathe. Smell the smells of the forest. Smell the smells of the trees, the sky. Breathe in the air. Feel the wind in your face. See the birds perched right out before you where you can touch them. Feel the droplets of rain that have fed this tree, that have fed you, that have fed the grass below you, the flowers, the plants, the animals. You are one with them all. You watch them wander. You understand now you can speak with them anytime you wish, for they feel your energy. You are the seeds. They are the seeds. Breathe the air within you. Know this tree has also brought to the planet, the source of fire. With each branch, you climb. You stand above the forest now looking across the canopy, knowing now that you are looking at your own creation. You are the eagle. Become the eagle. Alight from the perch on your tree and soar above Soar above the water. You are the eagle now. Your shadow. You see your own shadow above the water. Soaring, soaring, soaring. It is you now. You now have the vantage point that you can see all. Every wave lapping at the edge. Every fish See below the surface of the water. You are one with them. They are you. Watch the schools as they move in unison. And understand too that you can move with them. Just as the birds fly in a flock, the fish swim in schools together, they all understand we can move as one. We move as one. We breathe as one. We are one. Take yourself higher, higher still. Lighter and lighter you become. As the eagle soars higher into the stratosphere, it becomes.
a soaring burst of light. Bursting of light through the atmosphere, through the stratosphere, out into the galaxies. Here where your families reside, your ancestors, bring them here now, greet them. They are here to celebrate with you now. You have found the power that lies within you. You understand now that your creation is all around you, that this is your creation. Your body is within your consciousness. Now you see yourself as the light being that you truly are. Let go of all connections. Let go of all worry. Let go of all the beliefs that have been brought upon you. Honor them, for they have served your ancestors well. They have served you well. Invite all the counterparts of all the facets of all that you are to be with you in celebration today. Your mothers, your sisters, your brothers, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents, they're all here with you. Your galactic families are waiting to greet you. Invite them to join you today in this now, in this breath. Invite them to be with you today, that you will begin to meet them in your daily living, your consciousness. They've been waiting for this day, for you to invite them to be with you. Every counterpart of every dimension, every timeline you are now aware of. You vibrate in the same frequency. You feel their heartbeats with you. Their love is with you. They tell you now to fly on your own. For you now have all the tools to serve you. You are now a crystalline, beaming, brilliant body of light that you have chosen a path on this planet to assist the others. Allow the knowledge of your ancestors your family, to bring their love and peace with you today. Yet know that you may, not, may, may leave behind all the beliefs that do not belong to you, for you honor them, thank them, love them. Forgive them and forgive yourself, for there is no more there is no more need to carry these. There is no more need. You are light. You are love. You are ready to meet your family. You are a being of pure love energy. Reach out. Ask your spirit guides to be with you now, now in your journey as you come back to the earth and bring the knowledge with you. Know that all that has with, has all that has 
the path that you have chosen for yourself have allowed you to become the strength that you are today. No more do you need to look back and regret for you understand. It was love and only love. Bring them with you in unconditional love. Send the unconditional love out to the spirits, out to those who have come before you, who have led you to this day. In honor and love and forgiveness, I let go what is no longer mine. And know that you are freeing me to be here, to be what I need to be. Every animal, every flower, every tree, every person you meet, you bring the light of all that they are and all that they have brought to you. You now understand that you have access to all the knowledge of all that is, of all the ancestors, of all your guides, of all your galactic families. Invite them now as you return to earth and ask them every day to be with you. Ask them. To assist you with your decisions. They are here to they are here to help you. Today on this full moon, this lunar eclipse, we open the new portals, we open the new doors. To the understanding that we truly are multidimensional beings. We are limitless. You are limitless. Today is a day of rebirth. You are born with a new understanding. Today you feel the super wave of energy that will flow through you onto the human collective. One of love, kindness, harmony. Clearing out the old energies, making way for the new divine wave of light. The wave we are riding now. Float on the wave of this love.
for you are the key holders. You are opening the doors to allow the wave of love to enter every doorway, every window, every heart, opening the doors to the five-dimensional veil, taking them along the rainbow bridge that they too may see the light that lies within them, that they are too, lim they too are limitless beings of light. You have taken on this journey, you have taken on this task to usher in those to hold their hand, to show them that they too are love, that everything is perfect, nothing was ever wrong. There is no more need for regret, there's no more need. There's no more need for sadness or hatred. You understand now, you create the reality you desire. There is no more blame, but first you must stop blaming yourself. For you are only love and have ever only served in love. It is now time to forgive and leave behind. Close the door. And begin again. There is no more room for doubt. For you already know you exist. Therefore, you are necessary. You need to be here. Now ask yourself, your spirit guides, your ancestors to be with you, to walk with you on your path as you discover what it is that brings you true joy. For it is the path of true joy that leads you along the path of true joy. To open the next door, to hold the next hand, For it is only in joy that you will find your inner light. The joy will lead to the next joy. Which is only found in the now between the breaths. In this now, there is no yesterday. There is no tomorrow. There is only now. For now, truly creates your yesterday. For now, today, this moment, this breath, in time as you know time to be, today is yesterday's tomorrow and tomorrow's yesterday. So understand you truly do create your, your past and your future now. It is all now. It's only now. It's always only been now. It is only now that you are discovering this. Take this discovery of being in the now, of creating 
your past and your future by how you choose to live in this now. How do you choose to live this now to create the idea that tomorrow you will talk about today. Therefore, today is the path. And today, you are creating your future and your past. Once you understand this, truly understand, you can take this understanding to another and show them how they are truly creating their own reality. And by showing another how they truly create their own reality, you show them their own freedom, you reveal to them their own power, and your light becomes stronger still as you light the candle of another for it is only in the lighting of their own power that they will follow their own joy when one is powerless they are not in joy today is about understanding your power knowing that you choose. In this moment, I choose joy or I do not choose joy. But now I am aware that it is my choice and now I'm aware that because it's my choice I understand I create my own reality. Teach, to, teach this to another and they will always see their own light Your body is your vehicle to navigate three-dimensional reality and now you will become aware of your multi-dimensional beingness and that you can take this understanding and take this awareness and bring it to your three-dimensional reality. As a star, as a light, to light the path of another and as a reflection your light is lighter still your path brighter and with every breath understand you truly are new With every breath, understand, you choose this moment. You choose what to do with this moment. Unconditional love, loving your moment regardless of the conditions around you because it's your moment. It doesn't belong to anyone else but you. It's your moment. Allowing another to steal your moment is allowing another to take your power. Choose your moments. And choose how you feel that moment. These moments are the slideshows of your life.
Which slides are you creating? Which ones will you be looking at tomorrow? Understand your power. You have the power to birth galaxies if that is your desire. Just for the joy of the experience. You truly are limitless beings, and today, today the seeds of that true understanding has been planted, watered, and has burst wide open. Scattering the seeds of this knowledge across the vastness of the multiverses. You are capable of tremendous things. Nothing is beyond your imagination. And it is your imagination that truly is the doorway, the key for it truly is believing is seeing. For you must believe it, you must imagine it first for it to become material. Now you will begin to understand that you have the ability to watch the process, observe the process, slow down the process, speed up the process. You are the master of time. Time is not the master of you. You choose how long to spread out the breath, the moment. You choose. You are so powerful, you choose whether to believe you can choose that. Now believe you can. Once you believe you have the power to choose, understand the choice is yours to believe. Open the door to your own path. You decide. The choice is not being made for you. The choice is being made by you. Today you will believe that power. Today you will believe you are a limitless being. Today you will begin to understand you are all. You are all that is. You are all knowledge. You are all understanding. You already contain all that is because you are connected to all that is. Just as the roots of every tree are connected to one another beneath the earth's surface. And the tallest of trees broadcast out among the trees, among all the trees of the planet, which then broadcast out to all that is. And that breath is yours too. 
You breathe with the tree. The tree breathes with you. You both breathe, breathe with the cosmos. You are the same breath. You are the same tear. You are the same light. You are the same hug. You are the same river. All timelines, all ancestors, all that you can imagine yourself to be, all galactic families that you resonate with, all hybrid species, all other Earths, all other timelines, they're all you. You have access to all that knowledge. Now you understand that. Now you understand how powerful you are that you have the access to all that information that you can speak to any entity that you choose at any time you choose simply by changing your focus and your intention. You really are that powerful. You can speak to those through the ages, those you have loved and lost, but they are not gone. They are right here beside you. It is only your belief that is the veil. Push the belief aside, the veil, is also pushed aside. Step through it. They are there to greet you. You can speak to whomever you wish. You are truly timeless. Time is a construct, a tool, nothing more. It belongs to you, you do not belong to it. Every animal, every entity, every creature resides within all that is, and you are connected to all that is. Therefore, you are connected to every creature. Every aspect of you and every aspect of any other. The web is wide. Yet you travel it often in a breath. You are everywhere because everything is now. In a breath you are everywhere. Take this understanding with you and as you breathe, when you remember to breathe, when you see that special time on the clock, remember at that moment to breathe in this understanding. At that moment you see the clock. That's your universe reminding you to breathe with everything that is. You are breathing the same breath. You are breathing together. As you breathe, the multiverse breathes. You breathe the same love, you breathe the same light, because you are the same love, you are the same light. As the inhabitants of the earth begin to permeate this understanding deep within them. They will remember all that they are. And they will bring with them the new 
birth of the star of the new earth in their new light, in the new understanding of the multidimensional beings that you are. Bring her with you to its pure crystalline state where you never forgot you are not a part of her and all that is. Where you never forgot how powerful you are. Where you remember that you came here in a three-dimensional vessel to raise humanity, to raise the earth to a new understanding. You are so powerful. When navigating your three-dimensional vessel, in your everyday life, in every way you can, in everyone you touch, everyone you see, understand it as a reflection. Bring to that moment your highest being, your highest joy, the highest you. And they in turn will bring with them their highest being, their highest joy, their highest self. And they to another. You are the beacons, you are the torch bearers, you carry the light of the love of all that is. To ignite the light within another. And it truly is, the greatest power lies in the lightest touch. The lightest touch is love, energy, a smile. The lightest touch A match lights a candle with the lightest touch, yet it brightens the room saturating in light. One match to one candle. You are all beacons, you are all lights, you are all matches to light another, to ignite another, that they may see and f see that they, that the joy is the fuel. The joy is the fuel that propels the rocket of the desire within you. When you have no joy, you have no fuel. When you show the light to another, you light their candle.
You give them the fuel to propel their own rockets of desire. For when they are in joy, they will spread joy to another. You are the fuel. You are the light. You are the beacons. You are the spotlights that shine to the galaxies. You are the lighthouses that light the way to another. When their ship is sailing in the darkness, you are there for them. This is what you came here to do. The torch you carry, you carry within you. The light will never burn out. It is an eternal flame. An eternal flame. Use it to light the light of another. Light the way for another, and you too will never be in darkness. Breathe in the understanding of your connection. The power that lies within you to light the way of another will never die. So as you watch the full moon and its bright light shines upon you, thank it, love it, show its gratitude for lighting the way for you in the darkest of the night. And as the shadow passes across the moon, and it lights again on the other side. You are reborn with a new understanding that every breath is new. Every now is new. And you choose. You choose where to shine the light. You are moonlight, you are sunlight, you are starlight. Your light can be seen from every corner of the multiverse. And as you light another's light, it grows brighter and brighter. Breathe deeply. And as you breathe out, breathe your light. And thank your spirit guides for being with you today and every day. And every animal that visits you Know it is your guide today to bring you a very special message. Every animal, every bird, every song, every flower, every word is for you. 
speaking to you in complete harmony with your inner light. These are your messages from your spirit guides. They are the answers you have been looking for. Today ask to be awake and aware that you see the answers before you. That they are illuminated We are all breathing the same breath. The multiverse is all breathing the same breath. Namaste. 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 There is great love here. And thank you, everybody, for coming out today to our guided meditation with Wendy. Um, I have a little announcement. Um, Will will be having an event at 9.46 p.m. Eastern Time. It's about an hour and 40-some minutes from now for his uh, Super Blood Moon Eclipse Holy Fire celebration. And then um, tomorrow on the site, we'll have uh, Lucid Dreaming hang out with Ray. I'm not exactly sure what all is going on Tuesday. But until then, I'd like to thank you all for coming. Have a wonderful time. This has been the Guided Meditation on Hukulo TV. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you, Wendy. Thank you Dan. Just thank you, guys. Thanks for coming. You're most welcome. Mm -hmm. All right, Dan, take us off live. <laughs> All righty. <laughs>